We're here today to get the government, the SAS party government, to put their money where their mouth is and support staffing for a mental health uh, sh assessment and short stay unit in the emergency department at RUH. The money to build it is there, thank you to a generous donor, and there's federal dedicated dollars from the, the federal government to the tune of about $160 million over the next 10 years. This provincial government needs to uh, properly staff this unit so it can it can open and provide people the care that, that they deserve. I have a son who um, needed to be admitted to the DeBay Centre in July. They put him into a, a jail cell in the emergency and this is a, an honest-to-goodness jail cell that is used for violent patients and for two days and a night he was in there with the door locked uh, every time I came to visit him I could hear him sobbing down the hallway and every time I went in he said mom I'm going crazier in here and he was in there for two days and a night with the door locked well, I guess as a mental health worker with the Canadian Mental Health Association you know we've sat for many many hours in the emergency room with some of our clients and it's sad, it's, it's hard and it's sad to see, um, you know, the people that have to wait for like eight hours um, for a mental health crisis. It's, to me, it's similar to someone having a heart attack. I mean, you wouldn't leave someone in the middle of a heart attack sitting in an emergency room for eight hours. And I believe that mental health should have the same dignity because it's just as life-threatening. Um, absolutely. It's it's heartbreaking to have someone come to you and actually have that conversation and that open conversation about suicide and to want to do something about it and to take action and then to say that these are the resources that we have. It's, you know, it's almost saying that, that that's not important and that person's life isn't important. And I know it's not the staff there. They care. They want to do more. They just, they don't have the resources to do it. Um, they don't have the staffing for it. Um, and it's just, it's not the right environment for mental health either. It just, um, I know so many people who've walked in and, and, they, and then they walk back out. They don't get the help that they need.